So today we're going to look at how to install AutoGate on those difficult airports that uh, have jetways that are clumped together or grouped together with other objects. The airport designer got lazy and clumped a whole bunch of objects around the jetway, making it again impossible to simply remove the jetway and install AutoGate. So we're going to take a look at uh, the Ottawa uh, International Airport, the capital of Canada. And I came across this recently when I wanted to install AutoGate and realized that the jetways were not just standing on their own, but clumped and connected to other objects, which, which makes it difficult. So uh, this is starting from the beginning, assuming that the uh, you currently don't have the airport loaded in to your custom scenery folder. And we're going to use World Editor to uh, install the AutoGate. So uh, once you download and uh, open World Editor, you need to create a new scenery package. And we're going to call this uh, CYOW, which is the uh, code for uh, Ottawa. And just put a name on it so make it clear. Open the scenery package, and of course, nothing exists. Now, uh, what we want to do is go over and import the airport from the airport scenery gateway, which is where all of the airports that are under development by uh, airport developers around the world upload their airports to Laminar Research, and they make these uh, airports available for download. Now, they usually have someone that uh, looks at the airport and uh, either approves or doesn't approve it. So always get the recommended airport when you're downloading. So type in the airport code, in this case, Ottawa. And it'll uh, look at all of the uh, airports that have been developed for Ottawa. And it looks like all of them have been approved except one. The main developer is this uh, is B. Keith, and uh, we're going to download this latest version here, the recommended one. The, the uh, newer versions will have the higher number and it will usually be at the top. So we'll import the airport and see what we have. All right, so this is the Ottawa airport. And one of the problems that we had when we went to try and install AutoGate was we discovered that the uh, jetways weren't uh, by themselves. They were connected to other things. So if we look at this uh, jetway that's for, just a second here, we'll use our selection tool here for gate number 26. If you click on, you can see just to barely see a little uh, green cross there, that indicates that that's an object. And when you go to move that object, you'll see that <laughs> it's connected to, uh, you know, to uh, the markings for the gate and everything else, uh, carts and whatnot. So this is actually a, an and a library item from Laminar Research, and shame on them for creating jetways that are connected to other objects, making it very difficult to install AutoGate. So that's what we want to tackle today, is we find that we can't just delete this jetway here and install an AutoGate, which would make it very simple. Instead, we have to uh, decide what we're going to do with all the other objects. So. Looking at uh, the other objects connected here, I don't really care about these carts and things. They tend to get in the way anyhow from live traffic moving around that usually run through them. So getting rid of uh, the, the uh, uh, carts here is no problem. So uh, what we, however, what we do want to do is to get, uh, get this outline here for, to provide guidance for the planes coming in. So there happens to be uh, libraries over here. And uh, if you look at uh, Mr. X's library, 
and just type in ramp up here. You're going to come up with uh, the uh, different types of ramp styles that can replace this here. So we're going to uh, look at re replacing this. And the one that I think is closest to there is the southwest one here. It shows you a picture of it down here. And if you uh, just draw, starting from the gate and going down this way here, it'll put that on top of it like that. And that looks uh, pretty pretty close to what's there. It'll certainly do. And actually, uh, I don't. Uh, if we start a little bit farther back, we'll get it closer. We'll start there, and I should get a, a closer presentation of, of what's uh, currently there. All right, so what you want to do is to put that on top of that, and then you can delete the uh, jetway that, that's there. But before we do that, um, we want to... Uh, put on the auto gate and sometimes it's handy to put the auto gate on top of what's there to try and get a similar layout and uh, this looks like quite a long extension coming out here however I don't think the auto gate has an extension that, uh, that long so we're going to just try and find what's going to work best so before we can do that uh, you need to uh, uh, install the um, auto gate uh, into the f airport folder. So the AutoGate kit, uh, I keep a, a copy of the AutoGate kit here called Explain Development Tools. And what we need is a marshaller. Now the marshaller is uh, the uh, marshaller that w uh, guides the planes in using the batons. These are some, there's some electronic ones that are available as well. You can choose your preference in, in the type of auto gate you want to install. And then you need to choose uh, jetways, either glass or steel. And I usually choose the glass, even if it's not accurate, because the glass looks much better at, in the night lighting. So <laughs> I'm not too concerned about the accuracy of the jetways, I, but I like the airport to look nice when I'm uh, coming in and, and leaving. So, and you need to put uh, the helper, select the helper. So you select those three folders, just copy them, and then you need to uh, put them into the airport folder. So looking at our x folder here, the custom scenery into Ottawa, paste those folders in there. All right. Now, notice in the Ottawa folder here, there's absolutely nothing else in there yet. That's because we haven't saved this. So let's go ahead and save this. First of all, we'll, uh, we'll just save it and then we'll uh, export it here. Export scenery pack. So now you'll find that it'll put in the DAT folders and the uh, DSF files into that uh, Ottawa folder. Now, uh, in order, if you go to the libraries up here, uh, currently we don't have, there's probably nothing under the local yet because you have to close this and open it again. So now that we've exported the airport, we can close it and open it again. So now we'll just look for, hopefully the Ottawa one is there. There it is there. So we'll open the Ottawa airport and you'll see things are exactly as we left it. However, there is a, now a local folder with those folders that we put in, including the jetways, the helper and the marshaller. So, uh, let's go ahead and put on a jetway and what we want to do is we want to sort of get something that looks like that from our jetways here and we'll try the perpendicular one here let's say we'll go for an 18 meter actually not the perpendicular uh, let's go for a straight that looks better 
So what you do is, this is the important step where you need to go right at the gate there uh, and click right in the center of that gate and draw out straight like that. And that'll put the uh, um, auto gate in position there. And you see it's not exactly the same shape as this, but it'll, it'll do uh, for our purposes here. So now let's go ahead and get rid of uh, that other, we need to put the selection tool there and we're gonna get rid of this other jetway here. All right, so there goes the old and in comes the new. Now we just have to connect a little stretch across here over to to our junction here. And so in this case, they're using, you can use either a connection to go straight into there, or you can put a, a, a connection on top of that. Let's try the connection. And going up here, we've got the extension actually is what I meant. We'll try the 15 meter extension here. And we'll just go from there and you can put it on that a little bit of an angle like that. And I think that'll work. We could probably get away with a one meter shorter uh, bridge there, but let's go ahead and see if that works. So get your selection tool here. And we'll just Zoom in there for some precision work. And we can actually, let's just move that for now till we get rid of this one here. All right, so we got rid of that one. Let's move this one back into place. And we just need to rotate it a little bit. Uh, I cheat a little bit. Move it back. All right, there we go. So that's your auto gate. You've replaced the old and put in the new. Uh, before we actually go into the plane, we forgot to add the marshaller to guide the plane in. So uh, what you go up here, first of all, is select helpers. And you want to put the uh, green zone out so you know where to put the marshaller and you need to put the marshaller somewhere inside that green zone but far enough away from the plane um, so let's see what we're going to do here we're going to put the marshaller And I think it's hard to put him somewhere where he's going to. That's probably about the farthest away we can get him and still be in the green zone. So you need to get rid of that uh, green zone. Click on that up here and that should work now he's going to be somewhat hidden behind this truck here unfortunately it seems like all of these gates this uh, truck is going to be in the way however I think uh, those trucks actually move they may be AI vehicle so well hopefully they'll be out of the way all right so we uh, need to save that now and then we need to uh, e uh, export scenery pack. 
and we'll go into X plane and see how our auto gate looks. Okay, coming into the Ottawa International Airport now, you'll see that at gate 26, preliminary cockpit prep complete. We've uh, put our plane into the gate there, and you can see it's an auto gate, and it fits perfectly. You can also see the marshaller there, which is more readily available from the. Um, I am doing the cockpit preparation procedure during your walk around. Uh, that's just a plug-in for called Speedy Copilot. Actually, it's for the Flight Factor A320. It's a very valuable plug-in if you're interested. <laughs> it's a free plug-in, but uh, it uh, put, laps. puts a co-pilot in the plane, and he does all, all the preliminary work for you. And, getting your plane ready for takeoff so it's a very nice little plug-in but there's our uh, there's our marshaller and our gate and everything is will work perfectly uh, we could have lined this up just a little bit better but I didn't didn't really notice that at the time but uh, you, it's not bad, but you could have lined, put those lines in a little better, or lined it up a little better. Anyhow, that's how you uh, get rid of some of the existing things that are hindering you from putting in AutoGate and replacing it with other library utilities from things like Mr. X. So I'm, I'm trying to create videos that uh, don't address some of the issues that people are dealing with. And so if you like my video, subscribe to my channel. I'll be making more videos to try and make things as easy as possible for people to uh, modify their airport and to experience the uh, data insertion of flying. CFW. All right. Thanks very much for watching.